everybody. Welcome to Cornflower Crafts. I'm up in the craft room working on my thank you cards. And a lot of them are my three by three cards because they fit so beautifully. Um, if you have a giveaway to add them with your giveaway before you send it, uh, the winnings, or um, also if you're doing happy mail and you just wanna thank somebody um, for all their support and how they've st stuck with you through the years. And, and um, also, um, not the three by threes because of the mail, but I've also worked on some of these guys to put through the mail. Um, this one probably, since it's extremely dimensional, I will probably put that, uh, with something else to send, a package to send. But these flat ones, see, um, if you saw my video on dealing with the uh, Let's Do Die Cutting Monday with my stamping and the thank you and the die cuts, um, and twinchies, and then I put another piece of paper here and did the corners and things like that. Fussy cut this darling from this paper behind here these darling little pink roses um this one um i can't say who it's going to in case she comes here but it's to thank someone for being very kind and so it's some lace some ribbon down the center the pink satin ribbon to kind of bring out the pink in this paper and here and a little bit of lace and so I've done these with what I had shown in that um, video. Then I thought maybe you guys would like to come along with me and do some crafting while I do some crafting or just listen to me Babylon. No, <laughs> she comes from Babylon. What? She just babbles on and on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, so one thing I thought I'd do, I had everything done, I'll be honest with you, as far as my cutting, and uh, I got up my envelope uh, punch board and things like that for the three by threes, but then I thought, you know what, change it up a little. Oh, and I can see right now, this isn't straight. This is one that I had cut. This is an edge that I had cut, and you all know I do not know how to cut a straight edge and yes am i envious of those who do know how to do it yes but it's not me so if you all don't do the three by three cards which you probably do because they are not only so much fun but very versatile you know so you know you're gonna one side is three inches you all, if you already know this, um, I think that's great. If you don't, um, it's it, we'll go through this together, okay? Um, there are still a lot of things out there in paper crafting that are new to me. So, and then, of course, you double your three, and you get six. So, you're going to cut it three by six, and that's what you come up with. And this paper is fun because I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but this this is um, treated in a way where it does shine. I'm not sure how they accomplish that. Even the little dots have that as well. And then we keep this for something later. <laughs> and then, let me do this. Um, you all know, for my scoreboard, even for the small stuff, I am a fan of my Martha Stewart. And so we are going to, where did I put it? Here we go. We are going to score this at three. And that gives us our darling little card 
and you can see I still didn't get it straight on this one edge. So when that happens, I go back to this. I love this guillotine cutter. This is my, or you can just get your scissors out. But yeah, I am. Um, it's just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit right there. It needs to go. And then we're okay. This used, they used to label it the paper studio. They still carry it, but they don't label it that anymore because remember they'll say everything with the paper studio on it is 50% off. They stopped doing that. Um, as you can see, you can do it this way or you can do it this way. And um, because I'm going to be covering up, and as you'll see, in fact, let me show you some before we do this. Um, here's one with the twenty, and in blue, and then thank you here. And then the little envelope, I make the envelopes out of just paper, even um, printing paper, you know. And when it comes to something being this dimensional, I will show you. I've left something over here to show you how I do it now. I'm sure everybody does it differently. But this is a mixed media piece on um, handmade paper that I did this one on. And um, the back of it's signed. And then you just put to who it's to. And that's how that worked out. Um... This is how this one worked out. And yes, these are just kept so flat, but being the three by threes, you don't have to. You can put dimension, you can put like ribbon roses in the center and everything else. I just wanted a little tiny something there. This mimics a quilt pattern, and that's why I just wanted a little something there. And I didn't even need anything in this one because the floral was in the center already you know and then you just sign them and then i've got this one where i cut fussy cut these little tiny flowers out of a different piece of cardstock and then this one and i i learned because when i put the larger die cuts in the center i don't have a lot of places to uh, right, so I've learned to put things on the side if they're larger, and then so I can put dear so and so and thank them for being um, supporting my channel. And then we've got this one. And where did I put that one? Oh, yeah, to the side again. Okay. And like I said, I thought we would do something together. Now, I do go ahead and take my bone folder and crease this. Now, as you know, you can uh, go ahead and most of mine, as you saw, most of mine open this way. But we can do this one this way, especially since that rose, isn't that gorgeous rose? Oh, but we're going to end up covering part of it up. <laughs> so I thought maybe we could do this one together and then I fussy cut this little tiny rose to put in the center so let's do this one together um, I've already cut out my paper for my envelopes I've already put them through my envelope punch board which is this one and it is We Are Memory Keepers. I think I said the other day, I wasn't sure. I've had this for so long, and I have used this so much. You can see right here, I lost a little, they had a little insert here that was supposed to be nicer, you know, more comfortable to do, but it still kind of hurts my hands. So my trick on that, since you have to keep punching it so many times, is I take my... I have these setting on the side. These are recycled shop towels. I mean, just with 
they were just used to clean off paint brushes and stuff like that so you know but it feels a lot better to punch it like that but this poor thing i've used it so many times that it's not very sharp anymore sometimes i have to take my martha stewart scissors and cut around where it, it was like i don't want to cut anymore Ooh. <laughs> And I was told once to go ahead and line up some aluminum foil and to try to sharpen the blade. Does anyone else out there have any hints for me on how I can sharpen? Because that's, and this right here is where it's failing up there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And if anybody has any hints on how I can sharpen that so that it can be easier. But as you all know, if you have this, if you don't have this, you can make envelopes without a punch board. You don't need it, as you all know. The good thing about this is it, you, it tells you the card size, then what your paper size should be, and your score line, which makes it so much easier, at least in my opinion. And that's why... I got it and that's why I use it so much. And these are the three by three. So they tell you, you need five. Let me get it close. My I've got bad eyes. Five and a quarter by five and a quarter paper. And then you are going to uh, punch it at um, five, uh, excuse me, two and five eighths. So you line that up and your first punch and then all the rest of them your lineup because of your score line so it 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 makes my life a lot easier and makes my projects go a lot faster um as you all know i do tons of tiny tiny things and yes i did get the tiny one as well <laughs> and this is just a smaller version and they start you off with the card size of, yes, one by one. And if you all know me, I love to decorate uh, using teeny tiny envelopes with teeny tiny pieces of cardstock in them to write little fun messages to the, not to the person who sends it, but for the person, I mean, who receives it, before the person who receives it. And um, this is great for that because it goes from a card size one by one to a card size four by four. So that's, that's pretty fun. And this one is still nice and sharp. There's that insert. I lost that some time ago. I'm not quite sure how I lost it in the craft room, if you know what I'm saying. Unless Handsome thought it was something that needed to be tossed in the trash can when he came to get the trash. I'm not sure, but look at the little bone <laughs> <laughs> I don't use it, but <laughs> but it's cute. So I've already done the envelopes because guess what, guys? Um, boy, they uh, I have to get very very close. I have poor eyesight, and uh, all you would see is the top of my head, and I don't think anybody wants to see that. Okay. So and then I personally fold them this way, and then I take. If it's going to be flat, then I take my bone folder and go around the edges, and that's that. So, first off, I will sign it later. You don't need to see me sign it. So, this one, I want to go like this, like in a diamond shape. Because you're working with a 3x3 three three card and a 2x2 two two twenty. Okay, so first off, I just want to make sure I know where I want it to go and not have to fiddle with it too much. Okay, so what I've been doing, oh boy, and my Fabri-Tac is acting up a little bit and that's okay. Scientifically, it does that. If I were to thin it, out not with water but is it acetate then it would be doing better but I'm concerned about thing me thinning thinning it out putting too much and then in this one I have barely art glue and I go around the edges because this dries clear and the Fabri-Tac is clear too but 
it is shiny, as you see. So let's put this right about. Oopsie. There. And let me make sure, guys. I need to, to see if I, because the um, Fabri-Tac lets you move it for a split second. And then make sure your corners are down. And if you want to, you can be like me. I use this brayer all the time. Okay. And then I'm going to, let me see, do I need to, let's put this little dauber. Look how rough it is, guys. It's so rough, but it is saturated with the Kitsch Flamingo ink. So I'm not, I'm not giving it up yet. I got a new one. I forget what it was for. Maybe even vintage photo. I'm not sure. But whatever it was for, I was like, oh, it's not doing well. Oh, I think it was for, wait a minute. No, it was for um, Speckled Egg. I was working on with the, the scrapbook so much. And, oh, uh, it wasn't saturated at all. But look, isn't that cute? Okay, so that kind of shows up a little bit better. And you can also, as you know, go over it with your, or around it with your markers to also give it a little more definition. And my Barely Art Glue, I like it, but it's quite thin. But the thin stuff works really well on paper. So, you know, I find myself saying, well, I want, I want it here, but I don't want it here. <laughs> and then I go ahead and use one of these just to, in case there's any excess glue that came out. And um, so you're dealing with the card and then this card stock, this card stock, and just a little, um, a darling little fussy cut piece of cardstock. And as you know, you can get out, and I, and I probably will. I'm, I did them all super quick, except I probably will mess with the other ones. I've got some tiny little butterflies that might be flying around or coming close to the flowers. Um, I also might mess with the um, edges, you know. Get out my crocodiles and do that. I might, might not. I'm not really sure. But then, when you open it, then you can put the thank you right in the center or, like I've been doing, go like so. And then you can say, dear Sam's. I like that better. Um, if they were larger, I would put them in the center. But I like, I like the idea of being able to write a little more. And this paper, as you can see, all the hearts on this is some Prima cardstock. <laughs> and if I think I've gotten too much, I will go ahead and take some off with my finger. And I want that right about here. Okay. And now I've got very, very gluey fingers. I have um, baby wipes over there, but they slow me down a little. And I know um, some of y'all are like, corn, get on with it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave that open because then you saw that I, here's where the punch is. And there, and there, and there. And as you know, you can go ahead and cut out the size and and make your own envelopes. Um, but, like I said, this is just so much easier for me personally. Okay. Um, what I do, and you don't have to do this, but I just put a little dot here and a little dot here and 
Oopsie. Then I come down here. This is the only thing you really need to do. But I just I just want to make sure that when it leaves my house, I've done everything I can for it to survive the mail. <laughs> That's all. Of course, this isn't, like I said, this will be going, whoa. Of course, I'm on, I'm doing a video. Of course that happened. Um, this will be in a small package. Maybe even, I have a giveaway going on right now with charms. Maybe even in that, you know, that's very possible. Okay, and so we've got this one done that we did together. Um, like I said, I've got several more to do. And I, I think since you saw that, you'll probably be like, Corn, we've got it. It's all good. Well, how about this one? And this one opens like my other ones do. And this one, as you see, has a lot of dimension to it. Well, not a lot, but more than they, you know, they're, that's flat, completely flat. This, this is not. And not only is it dimensional because it has the foam underneath the die cut, but it also has this. Let me see if I can show it to you. That's pretty dimensional. <laughs> so I'm going to place that there. This is our sentiment. And then I'm going to show you how I do the handmade envelopes for something this dimensional. Um, and then if you guys have a way that you like better, if you could please write it in the comments, I think everybody would appreciate that. Now for me, I need to line this up. I went ahead and used my crop -a dial on this one and then it is the um, speckled egg that I went around this one with. I used the large one on one side and then the small one on this sweet little twenchy. So this paper definitely had some shiny, shiny, I don't know if it's showing up, stuff on the roses, but I'm going to put the Fabri-Tac on that because Fabri-Tac is really, really good on shiny surfaces. At least for me, it has been so far. I can't make promises, but for me, it's been good. Okay. And then I'm going to use Barely Art Glue. where I want this little baby. I like having those little rosebuds showing out there, up there. I think that's pretty sweet. So one thing I have noticed when it comes to my twenties, especially the ones that have the mixed medium ones and the one like this, I can't really use my brayer on it and when it comes to my corners I just um, they need to be held down in order for it to stay properly you know so I've learned that and the barely art glue it, it dries pretty quickly I don't know if it dries as quickly as art glitter glue though wow that's really quick as you know so, okay. And then on the inside, we're going to do a thank you with the heart. And again, I, I prefer it up there. I really do.
Two. Sorry for all the noise. Um, the weather's nice today, and when that happens, tons of motorcyclists and big 18 wheelers and everything else come out. So that's a noisy. Yep, and I've already signed that one. So, what I do, as you know, this is all ready to go and I don't as you see I do not take my bone folder here to my score marks but what I do is I place it in there first and I put these over it but very gingerly and as you can see see it has to come out look how far it has to come out in order to <clears throat> excuse me in order to cover that ribbon flower so but I still put a tiny touch on the end here just a tiny touch of glue here <clears throat> excuse me and a tiny touch of glue here okay and just so they can hopefully <clears throat> excuse me so they can hopefully hold on while I get through this one and as you see, this one comes up a little way, so I don't put the glue all the way to the end there. But close, close. What are you guys working on these days? Or are you very, very busy with your children home for the summer to do much crafting, much creating. And I just very gingerly touch this without trying to get a bunch of wrinkles and stuff. But see how far that has to come out? And then what I do with this one, instead of like the other, well, with all of them, I put a sticker, closing with a little sticker. And there you go. And yes, it's, um, it's interesting looking. It's not, but it covers up your three by three card, you know. <laughs> and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.